Hey guys, it's Dave Nerona here, and I am super lucky today to be talking to Bruce Cameron, yeah. the president of Marlon Recreational Products. And uh, you've got some cool new uh, products, as always. They're always th you're always thinking in that office of yours. Uh, tell us what you've got this year. A couple of different things, and I think people are going to be very excited. I know I'm super excited about uh, checking yeah. it out. Well, thanks for taking your time and coming in and helping us introduce this. Yeah. This is very exciting for us. It's if I back up just a second. We, our new product development team is made up of people from each of our offices covering Western Canada and the US. Um, so we know our market segments, they're, they're very talented guys, they have 124 years experience in the industry which is amazing. Um, I tasked them with, we, we've been seeing the last few years our snowmobile trailer sales dropping. And we don't know if it's because of our sled decks. Amazing so decks well. that they make, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, you know, we looked at that, but we, we, we had to figure a way to turn this around for the market. We've seen manufacturers get out of it because it's been dropping, but we feel that there's still a market there for the sled traders. So I tasked the guys with going out and developing some new sled traders um, that will do more than the old sled traders. And I, I think we've come up with the answers. We've got uh, two two-place uh, traders uh, one 10 feet long, one 12 feet. And then we've got our single trailer that's a 10 foot long one. Awesome, very cool. And tell us a little bit about it. Uh, let's start from the ground up, because this trailer is all new, what I understand. It's yeah. not like you just added onto something. This is built from the ground up. Yeah, no, 100% right, and that's the best way to describe it. You start from the ground up, we've gone with radial tires, we've gone with galvanized rims. I mean, we want the best. We want this trailer to last. We've gone with a just an amazing axle. It's uh, 3,500 pounds carrying capacity, uh, torsion axle. We're working right now with some manufacturers to do it in galvanized finish for us because we want this to last. We don't want rust. We don't want wood rotting. We don't want uh, side by sides or ATV sinking into the wood. So I just carry up. We, we went to aluminum extrusion. We went to aluminum decking. Again, because of the strength and durability, but also because when you're pulling it behind, we, we know there's a market with the SUVs and the smaller crossover vehicles, we want it light. So we went to the aluminum decking, um, we put the super track extrusion in the side of the deck, which we know from our truck decks, everybody loves for tying things down. We've gone a step further and put it up the center of the trailer. Um, that was another extrusion that we did. And um, it just allows us to tie down dirt bikes, ATVs, your plywood, your, your two by fours. Um, you know, right up to our tongue. We beef the, the heck out of the tongue because we want the strength there. Um, so you can see the, the tongue. Um, we went to a wishbone tongue on it uh, just to get the strength. And it tilts so you can tilts. ride up and ride off of it? Yep. Yeah, it tilts and you an option on all the traders, you can make it drive on back off as well. Awesome. So depending on well, what you want. It seems like you've literally taken your deck, which is also proven and I've been running for so many years and absolutely love it and you've basically made your deck into a trailer absolutely right yeah absolutely right so we we took a look at that as well and and um, we did did things like this like our deck the side slide out so we did the same thing on on our trailer and there's a couple of reasons for that we, you know with our guys and our experience and and uh, talking to our dealers in, in Western Canada or this side of the mountains and even in Alberta, we would get our dealers ask us, why do the traders 102 or 101 wide? Our machines are narrower. We don't need that kind of width. So like our decks, we can have the sides slide in or slide out. So we can accommodate a mountain sled. We can slide them out to accommodate uh, a trail sled. But the other thing is we wanted more. We wanted to do it better. We wanted to be lead the industry like we do with our decks. And with the side slid in, you can drive a, a, a side by side up onto it. Um, we're working, and you can put two ATVs on it. We're working on some other future um, projects that maybe we'll talk about later that, that's uh, got us pretty excited. So it's not just a sled trailer, it's an all round one trailer does it all. Yeah, and that's what I love about it. I think the biggest problem is sometimes you need three trailers to do all the things that you want to do, whether you UTV, side by side. Um, with ATVs, sea dews dirt, dirt bikes, bikes everything. Yep. 
they can literally now it's one trailer does all and, and what I love about it is is the strength that, that that you guys have put into this and the time you put into it it's exactly what you've done to the deck so sure. um, let's talk about a few options that you can do with this trailer because sure. um, and and see what we can do with that okay Dave let's start with the way the trailer comes so we're looking at the single 10 foot right now the trailer is going to come with aluminum um, decking like I said earlier aluminum decking adds a whole lot of structure and strength to the trailer as well um, like I say it comes with the super track in the sides for your tie downs it comes with four tie downs if you want to add additional tie downs you can buy those as an option and snap them in because you never know what you're gonna be hauling um, the 10 foot tilt um, works well with a, a, a snowmobile you can tilt the trailer drive on if you have a side-by-side you can't have the trailer tilt and drive on because it gets high centered. The front tires put the weight down, it comes up. So what we did is we came up with an optional loading bar. It's standard on all our two place trailers, but it's optional on the single. So it bolts on so it can hold your uh, side by side ramps. Or if you want to use it for your ATV, that's, you're quite welcome to do that as well. So that's an option. This is an option. This is an option. With this comes uh, ramp trays that bolt in underneath, the flanges are already welded on, so they bolt on so you can slide your two ramps in so they're out of the way um, and easy, easy to get at. The other, thing, the other thing is you can add your super glides. So like on our truck decks, we've in, in the side extrusion, we've uh, uh, part of the extrusion is to slide your super glide right into it. And cool. then we have the super glide extrusion on the other side to hold it down. So that gives you a grip for your ATV, grip for your 50 inch side by side, and um, allows your your, uh, your sleds to, to glide on. Yeah, I love that because it's an option that everybody really should get, no matter what you're using it for. And what's great is that you can now just slide the one side of the glides in and have the edge rail trim on the other side. And now you know exactly where it should be lined up and you just uh, drill it in and you're good to go. I, I love that. I also love these the option here that you can to tilt or uh, drive up with your with your uh, side by side because not everybody knows that that you'll notice the first time it happens when you get the fr front wheels up and you get them high enough the t the trailer will tilt up and knock your side by side underneath yeah. so the drive on capability is really really cool let's move over to the double trailer here because it is already loaded we'll maybe talk about the ramps first again because this uh the, both tandem or double trailers do tilt so you can just use them if you're using for snowmobile and you ride up and you ride off. And um, But if you don't want to do that, if you do want to use a, um, a ramp, tell us how our options there. Yeah. So all the tilt tra or the, the, the double tilt trailers will come with um, trays for the snowmobile ramp. Okay. So snowmobile ramp, so that comes standard. Snowmobile ramp is an option. I'd like to also point out this is new for us this year, which we're going to start phasing into our decks. We're going to start phasing into our side-by-side -side decks. But it's our new wrap rung protector that's a foot wide. Um, we just felt that that was much better for what we're doing here today. Um, like in our ramp, like in our uh, sled decks, we have a hook that goes right over the bar. So it's safe. It's not like a lot of the snowmobile trailers where you hit it and it pops up, pops off. Love it's sliding forward. So it's locked on and it has a safety lock on it as well. It just makes it that much easier, that much safer to use. The other thing is, if you are moving it from one side of the trailer to the other side of the trailer, once those safety latches are up and out of the way, we made it so you can get into the center of your ramp because that's always difficult. If you're just sledding by yourself or, yep. or you, you, you want to do things by yourself, get into the center of the ramp, pick it up, move it over to the other side, drop it down, which we could do if we didn't have our side-by-side -side ramp there but we want to show that. Perfect. Well, and I really love what you've done here um, with the loader bar because having used it on the sled deck, it just makes all the difference in it. And, you know, let's face it, the only time you're going to get really injured is loading and unloading at the end of the day. And yeah. having all these safety features just make it dead easy to do. Yeah. And when you're tired, it just makes it really safe to do as well. Yeah. You got it. You got it. Cool. Yeah, let us know. Tell us about the uh, ATV ramps. So the ATV or side-by-side -side ramps, what we've done is you have a, an option that puts a center center slides to work with your outside slides for your um, sled ramp. So now you can take your side-by-side -side ramp and slide two of them in underneath the deck and lock them in place. Gets them out of the way, out of sight, just, just like the sled ramp. So 
basically we use the same uh, we use the same extrusions that we're using on our sled decks um, same cross members we've gone to the 12 inch wide ramp rung protectors same ramp hooks same safety feature um, yeah so just line it up with your side by side and drive on right and what i love about this is because it's littered with the, the super glides is that you've done uh it all for you can do you can order it just like this and do it for the consumer so it makes yeah. it really easy and you've lined up all the points yeah. and again i think it's it's really important for the consumer for the safety aspect right yeah. not only you've got the strength here and the durability of the of the aluminum but once you have the super glides it changes the game of walking around and moving your side by sides and and uh, atvs and sleds around on the trailer yep yeah. Cool. Well, let's talk lastly about the uh, the LED lights because one of my favorite things about the deck is the LED lights and yeah. the safety factor and people can see it because that's the thing when we're towing a trailer lots of times you can't see it if you're driving a truck or another vehicle and having all those safety bullet LEDs. Tell us about that. Yeah. So what we did because the side slide in slide out, it was a, it was a difficult task that the team had to do and we had to do a, another separate extrusion on the rear of the trailer because we've got the side sliding in and we've got our tail light wiring there. So we didn't want to cut the, the, the wiring as the side slide in. So we can go over that another time, but we did a special extrusion just to hold the wiring in the back. But we went with LED lights. Um, when the sides are slid in, um, and we also wanted to make sure that we had lights on the exterior of the trailer, yeah, which I we need yep. when the slides are pulled out. So we put marker lights on the outside of the trailer, both in the front and the back, and we embedded it right into our uh, Marlon end cap. Um, yeah, so it, it's, it looks pretty neat following it down the highway with all the LED lights. The other thing, sorry, the other thing on the LED lights underneath, because the trailer tilts, we've done the extrusion so it wraps around the tail light, so you're not damaging your light, and um, anything that's coming off your trailer comes off and around and over top of your light, not running down into your light. I love that and that's you know when you're looking at trailers that's probably why we've seen also a drop in trailer use is that they're pretty much built for taking off the lot once you use them after yeah. the first year you've definitely ripped lighting somewhere whether it be off the front or the back or the lights like you say waters run down into them and they just they don't look as good and they really don't work as good after that yeah. first year what I love about what you've done here is you've made it really really durable and strong so for years to come, it's sort of like, you know, when you when you get one of these trailers, you know you're going to have it just like your deck for many years to come. And it yeah. isn't going to look crappy. It's going to work the same as it did on day one. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. There's a couple of other things that we've done as well. We've developed a front snowmobile shield. We don't have it on here today, but we'll put it on and get some pictures on our website. The front snow shield allows you to slide the sides in and slide out. So you've got your machines covered and looked after um, from any rocks or debris or things coming towards you. So very try cool. to think of everything. Uh, cool. Well, they'll tell people how they can get one because they're a couple of months out of even yeah. being made. So um, they're going to be limited production this year. This year. Yeah. But how can uh, how can I get my name on one of these uh, sweet trailers? Because I'm going to get my name in there for sure. Well, we're just introducing them to the dealers. And yep. That's partially what we're doing with our video here today. Uh, when we release it, this video is going to go live. Um, we're out, we'll start out talking to our dealers here in the next week, uh, getting booking orders and so on. You can go to our website. Um, as we add the dealers or as dealers book, we'll make them live on our website that who's, who's going to have stock, who's ordered and who's going to have stock. So awesome. that's the best way to do it. Worst case scenario or best case scenario, get on our website, go to our information, send us an email and we'll direct you to the dealer that's got stock that's probably the easiest way awesome well thank you so much for your time today and yeah. also thanks for uh continuing to make so many amazing products I, I i know personally for myself it just makes my day of sledding uh that much safer and easier i'm, I'm an early guy so i get up early in the dark and i love the fact that i have the lights and and everything it makes it safe unloading and then when i come home i'm usually racing home to look after my my wee one so i uh you know it, it's it's the, so easy to load it quick and safely yeah. and on my way home and uh till the next day that i that i go so yeah. thanks for that and uh yeah we'll we'll see you out in the snow sounds good look forward to it all right thanks dave